Hi uh, folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. I want to do a, a quick review on all four British submarines because I just did them like three and a half, four months ago. Um, the one thing that has really changed, the captain skills have dramatically changed. However, I will put all four of uh, those videos in the, the link description down below so you guys can go see all four different British submarines. But overall, they have changed a bit, in my opinion, how to play them. Uh, I'll, I will go through, I guess in general, I'll go through all of them and, and tell you how they work, what works, what doesn't work, and, and the best way to play them. But overall, I will do another review of the captain skills here as well in this video. Just make sure you guys are, are, are okay. I would say right now, they're a standoff submarine. Like I've been saying now, go to the flanks, left and right side. Please don't go up the middle. Stay out of the range of airdrops and just take your time. This is a mundane game. The first time I ever did it. And of course, there was two aircraft carriers like in this game or something like that. Yeah, two. It was unreal. Aircraft carriers are terrible for subs. But... Let's just quickly jump into the uh, the captain skills and then we'll get from there, okay? So I did dramatically change the captain skills and I had to have Andrew cutting out. I now have all the specialty captains. So for me, I went with Enhanced Sonar, Liquidator, because I want more damage to my torpedoes. I do take priority target. I think that's very important. Last Stand is very important because you're going to get damaged. Preventive Maintenance, important. This is watchful. That's the most useful skill in submarines, in my opinion. I love it. It's been it's like having an extra team member to work with your co-pilot. Super tenant because you want more charges, especially in the British subs. Then I took Torpedo Aiming Master because that does help when there's a double ping and getting more damage. And of course, as always, I, I, uh, I take Adrenaline Rush. All right, so that's it for captain skills for me. So let's discuss what they can and can't do. So first of all, some I mean, let's go through some some good things. They have some of the best underwater speeds of any uh, uh, U boat or sorry any type of uh, submarine in the game. They're really good that way. They have phenomenal battery life. Uh, this one, the Andina Tier Six, is five minutes. I believe it's just over six or so seven minutes with the uh, Thrasher Tier Ten. So lots and lots of battery uh, life. Good range on torps. Only Alliance though, however, has the non-acoustic torps, and they're only seven kilometers. Now, some bad things about all the subs, low damage on acoustic torps. They are terrible. Reload times for all the tubes is very slow. It's like the American line, you get to load three at a time. So three in the, on the front, three in the front, and then at the back is with the, the two here in the, in the Undine. So it takes a while. Their healthful pool tends to be on the lower side, especially the Undine. It's the lowest in the game, I believe. They also have average diving speeds. Like they're not phenomenal for being able to get down really quick and do what they have to do. So overall, I, I would say these are defensive boats. They're flanking boats. You can see I'm doing this. I think it's the sturdy, yeah. You can see me doing it with the sturdy in this one. Stay to the sides, spot, cap when you can, and watch out for CVs. CVs are your menace and what you're going to hate in this world. But overall, I still love the British subs. I think they're very good. They're not my favorite class of ships, but they're still really good. And if you're going to use the torpedoes, the acoustic, the, the acoustic ones, don't ping. Just keep shooting them in a nice line and do what you would do just like any other uh, submarine in any other torpedo. Try not to use a ping unless you absolutely have to do it. Okay? But anyway, that's it for this, uh, this line. Uh, I'm going to do the Gato next because I just got him in playing him. So as always, take care. Stay safe. And let me know in the comments. You guys play the British submarines. They've been out for a while. Do you like them? So as always, take care. Stay safe. And bye for now.